A Toledo man is suing Ohio's Department of Corrections for forcing him to live in a tiny cell and torturing him for months. Attorneys say after he swallowed dozens of batteries, the prison staff refused to get him any medical attention. 19 investigates Mike Mason live in the newsroom tonight to explain more. Mike. Yeah, Chris, attorneys say this inmate was mentally ill and suicidal, but instead of getting him the help he needed, prison workers crammed him into that tiny cage and treated him just like a dog. He had to sit and eat on the floor. He had to sleep on the floor. There were mice and bugs crawling over him while he slept. Attorney Jacqueline Green filing a federal lawsuit against Ohio's Department of Corrections and numerous prison and medical staff for how they allegedly treated James Harris back in 2022. Green says Harris became suicidal and was crammed into a tiny cell just shy of eight feet long and four feet wide for 43 long days. Is utterly shocking, is completely medically uh, mental health wise, penologically unnecessary. According to the lawsuit, it happened in Lucasville at the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility. Green says Harris became depressed after his mother died and somehow swallowed up the 25 AA batteries. The next day, he apparently told jailers and medical staff he was in pain because of what he did, but they ignored him. The lawsuit alleges one nurse even told Harris, you did this to yourself, so you got to deal with it. People from the lowest to the highest levels knew and even participated in some way in what happened to Mr. Harris. Then after four months, Harris was finally taken to the hospital to have the batteries removed. Green says Harris's treatment is likely not unique, and she wants to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. What do you uh, hope to accomplish with this lawsuit? What he experienced, he feels is torture, and I agree with him. And he never wants to experience that again, and he doesn't want anyone else to ever go through that as well. And Harris was convicted of committing aggravated robbery and murder back in 2006. We contacted officials at ODRC, but they tell us they don't comment on pending litigation. In the newsroom, Mike Mason, 19 News.